Like we provide high quality resources that are designed to inspire and engage children and young people and help you as educators use and deliver financial education in the classroom. PFEG are the Personal Finance Education Group. We're particularly interested in working within initial teacher training, so capturing you at the start of your teaching career. It's PFEG's mission to make sure that all pupils leave school fully equipped to take part in all financial transactions in society. Money is in everything and we really need to be teaching this across the curriculum, across the school. Once we've talked to teachers about PFEG, they instantly latch on to the fact that they want to teach, that they want it to be part of their curriculum. When I plan, whether it's math or another subject, I always try not to assume that the children will know a topic or a skill or a concept. And I was reminded the hard way on Monday, after teaching the first lesson, that the children didn't know the coins, didn't know that one P was less than one pound. Working with the teaching school has proved really interesting because we're engaging with students in school in that teaching context. Today I'm learning to choose what I want to buy using the correct coin. Coming into a school to see an experienced teacher delivering a very high quality lesson, that in itself is a really big experience for our trainees. But beyond that, just giving them an extra idea and a different idea about how they can approach finance education is really important. How are we going to do that? We're going to decide what I want to buy. Today's lesson, I tried to teach the children how to be responsible for their money. So they had a budget of 20p and we had real items for them to buy. So stickers, pencils, highlighters, something they're really amazed to see. How many 1p will you get for 20p? 20, well done. They had to exchange the money first, they had a 20p coin and we wanted them to deal with 1p. You look, what is for sale? And then you decide what you want to buy. Now remember, you can't buy everything. You have to think, oh, what do I need or what do I want? They exchanged the money and then they were buying things. So exchanging the amounts of one piece against the item. You need to buy one thing at a time and then see how much money you have left. And then put it in your bag. It's been amazing to see how easy it is to put personal finance education into your lesson and still have loads of maths and multiplication, adding and all the skills. And the enthusiasm from the children, they were just really into what they were doing. You need to think about what you need to buy. What are your reflections on that lesson? How do you feel it went? I thought it was really good how when that little girl shouted out when they were on the carpet when she said, no, it's too expensive. I think it's really important to get them involved at this stage in their careers. I like the fact as well, I saw that you have real objects that they like, like trainers and cars and realistic amounts, what they actually cost. When trainers don't cost 20p and we have a temptation to say that. They're soaking up a lot of information, they're soaking up a lot of good practice about how to teach mathematics more generally and so to be introduced at this stage when they're in that very receptive frame of mind I think it's really important to catch them in higher education and to introduce them to different approaches to mathematics. As you know this week we are focusing on money. Personal finance has been something that for me is important to teach to children but I think it was an incidental teaching that was happening in the classroom. We're also going to be discussing financial transactions that can be made. Whereas now, since we've become involved with PFEG and looking at the objectives, look at the outcomes, it sort of brings it all to the front of your mind in a way of bringing that into your maths classroom in a meaningful way that's going to help them in the future. Oscar, can you save up your money? No, I'm shocking. Every time I go to the shops, whether I've got money or not, I want to buy it. During the lesson I used puppets which I've used in the past but not with a year six class so that was quite interesting how they would see these puppets whether they could connect with the puppets on a real life basis. Is there another word for that? What's that word that we call it? Um, Is that right Oscar? You borrowed money from a friend? Within I think two minutes of my first lesson on Monday they were completely engaged with the puppets. They loved Oscar and they loved Violet and the different personalities that they clearly had and the situations that the two puppets had got themselves into. And that was a way for them to make meaning of the mathematics that was happening in the classroom, a way for them to understand 
the implications or the importance of finance. Well, I have saved £103.30. I think for the people that came and watched today, they found it valuable. Also, I think they appreciated the fact that the way that the lesson was taught was just a normal lesson. It wasn't a whiz-bang, wow, this is you know, moving on and really fast. It was about the children learning, about children understanding. Any final bit of advice before Oscar and Violet go home? Never waste your money on things you don't need. It's really interesting, after the session, so many of them stayed around, so many of them want some extra information because they feel it's vital. And they all say things like, we wish we had this in our own school experience, we wish we'd had this when we were growing up, and we're really keen to make sure it happens in our schools. You heard some of the children that were saying about, well, at the beginning of the week especially, how a card just has got money in it. I wish I'd learned about personal finance in school because there's things that I'm still not really aware of now that I think some of the, especially in the year six lesson, talking about expenditure and budgeting. Yeah, I can't remember talking that. about all that no. at school, no. Exactly. And putting that onto a calendar, that's going to be really beneficial for them. They're really excited about money. I think it's fantastic you use something that's actually tangible that kids can relate to, so finance as opposed to something that's obscure and abstract like math, just simply adding numbers up. So if you actually then start relating it to solving problems in terms of using money and finance and budgeting, it suddenly becomes a real thing. It's nice to see that you're allowed to do physical hands-on things and it's not just about what's in the books, it's the real understanding. Listening to the quality of discussion from our trainees in response to the lesson, it's clear that they're getting something which they wouldn't otherwise have got. Even mixed ability groups. Now every time I plan for any lesson, I'm going to just have the PFEG thing in my mind and think, how possibly could I bring money into this, whatever subject it is.